This is the Raspberry Pi Pi Corder version 2. What we have is a Lego case with a Raspberry Pi in a Mod My Pi case and a 7.2 amp battery pack. Um, it's got a number of sensors on board as you can probably tell and an LCD screen to give you the readings. Take you through them one by one. First of all, I should say that I've got a Noisette Keyline Pi. Um, they're a US-based company, um, and it's essentially a Pi cobbler, but much smaller footprint on the bottom, um, and also a, more importantly, an analog to digital converter on top, which gives you eight analog inputs or outputs, which is very handy for this sort of project. Where to begin? Right, first of all, we have the, the um, Pi Corder tells you what its IP addresses are. I say, I say IP addresses because um, it can have as, it can show as many as there are on the Pi. For instance, 12701 is the local address, and 192.168.1.101 is what's connected to my home network. I have a button over here which takes you to the next function. The next function is a GPS unit. This is the Adafruit Ultimate GPS breakout board. And with any luck, it'll actually give us some readings. There we go. Right, it's capable of, it's capable of doing more than I programmed it to do. But it will show you the latitude, which is 52.12. And the longitude, which is minus 0.21. If you want to look it up on Google Maps, it should show you somewhere in Bedfordshire, in UK. It also gives you the current altitude, which is 31, minus 31 metres at the moment, and the current speed, which is apparently 0.2 metres per second, which obviously it's not. Um, I think this is down to some, some drift of either the satellites or it's the Earth rotation or something. Um, but that's, that's the GPS unit. Cost quite a bit, about 30 quid, but it was definitely worth it. Um, what I'm eventually hoping to do is to take it geocaching. I'll let you do the research on that. Um, the next function, if I can press the button, is a potentiometer. This is a cute little board, which is a PCF8591 board. Um, it has on board uh, a light resistant, um, light detecting resistor, and a temperature, and a potentiometer, and also a little LED. Um, I question the point of having an LED on the board when there's a light sensor right next to it, but we'll ignore that for now. There's an onboard analog to digital converter, which means that I'm able to turn potentiometer. get hold of it and you should see it change if you that would be useful for doing things like um, changing ranges and changing um, different aspects of the sensors it's just for fun for now the next function is temperature which comes off here I've not calibrated this yet um, I believe it gives a range from 0 to 256, but I don't quite know what the range is. It could be 0 to 1000. I've not quite worked that out yet. The next one, there is some corruption on the readout because um, I think either the analog to digital converter on here has been damaged or I've got a wire, more likely I've got a wire connected somewhere wrong. Again, I've not calibrated this, so it's currently showing humidity at 104, which is obviously wrong. The humidity board is up here, and it's connected to one of the analog inputs over here. Next function, light, which is on this board, as I previously said. So if I, if I try and get it in focus, cover it up, and then currently reading 109 
There you go, 71. Put my finger over it, down to 30. Take my finger off again, down to 71. It's not on any particular scale, it's just a reading. Press the button again, and we have vibration. Now the vibration sensor is actually a piezo buzzer that sits underneath the board there, which is that gold disc. If I, first of all I'll just make it still, and what I've done is I've, I've programmed it so that the more vibration there is, the more pipe symbols appear here. So what you should see is it stop if I can get my finger on it. And then if I start tapping it. As you can see it goes up. Another again it's the it's a corruption on the screen. Next this is sound. Now the sound is another analog input just like the vibration is and it's that little silver it's the silver thing in there little microphone I'm not sure if this actually works but it kind of works occasionally if I can get it in focus It does work. <laughs> that will work for it. Okay, next up we have some accelerometers, and I'm having real problems getting this in focus. So there will be a part two.